Welcome to Nollywood Radio France, your host is Cyprian Josu. This program has been brought to you by Nollywood Croissants Magazine. Additional support is provided by our partner Ubaudi Omodiwe, Goodwill Ambassador, Nollywood actress, singer, songwriter, humanitarian and victim advocate. Please stay tuned. Big kiss to all my friends from Nollywood Radio Friends, from Sao Albertin, ex Miss Haiti, an actual actress. Quiero enviarles un beso grandísimo a toda mi gente de Nollywood Radio Friends. De verdad los quiero mucho de parte de Miss Haiti, Sao Albertin, actual actriz. Je vous envoie un grand bisou à tous mes amis de Nollywood Radio Friends. Je suis vraiment contente d'être dans la radio et c'est vraiment un honneur pour moi. Je vous aime, je vous adore et je vous embrasse. Love in Berlin, Patience Osoko and Jim I, two celebrated African actors, are billed for an entertaining tour of Europe. She remembers Berlin, a city where our African fathers were slaves by the colonialists. For this reason, she hates the white, but her son, Kuyo, is married to a white German. Hey. Kizoya Golden Entertainment proudly presents Love in Berlin, the meeting point. Exciting, informative, educative, and entertaining. Patience Azoko, Drew I, Sandra Achams, Hazel Gizoya, Arthur David, Olayin Kadosu, introducing Imanula, Agmuzhao, Katiana Baniga. Love in Berlin, the meeting point. Shot exclusively in Berlin and Germany. Love in Berlin, produced by Isaac Izoya, the cultural ambassador, and directed by Lanzot Udra Imaswe. Love in Berlin, let's make love our meeting point. Also available on VHS, DCD, and DVD. Love in Berlin, get a copy now. Now let's go to the soundbite here, the, the pastor uh, who was preaching on the street of how the Holy Spirit and uh, blah blah can help your life and uh, uh, security around your life. So why did you record that scene? Because I, I felt that that man w was trying to sell, f sell false hope to people. You see, one thing that really revolves around all, my, all the recordings I did was the hope. Okay? People, they trade on that because they know that people are hopeless and they want to give them hope. They're selling their dream. That's right. Mm. So that, that's where, that's really revolting for me. I don't like it. I don't, it's a kind of ripping people off. You rip people off. I, and you can't believe it. This was on a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. As early as 7 a.m. I was, I was walking. I went out walking. I just wanted to go and do some exercise. And I heard that guy shouting. Blah 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 and you know, stuff like that. So I, I I stood somewhere and then tipped what he was, I just listened to what he was saying. I really shook my head and said, No, this is not the way to see God. If what he's saying is the only way, then that's not for me the only way. Okay? Because for me, believing in God is empowering people to do something with their lives, with their hands. That is real empowerment and not shouting God said this, God said that, God is because at the end of the day nothing you are not going to place any meal on that on that person's table. And so for me that's wrong. Really. Can you describe this pastor for us? How 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 does he look? Long long beards, uh, what um, I, anyway, I saw him from from afar. I saw mm -hmm. him he was standing about 50 meters from me, mm -hmm. and they were standing, they were sitting, it was, there were people in the room, on the church, and he was standing very early in the morning, okay. and preaching and shouting, and the last speakers outside, okay. and he was shouting, okay. and so I was walking across, but the way he was shouting, the noise that he was making, really attracted me, so I stood by and listened, so as I was listening, I looked into the church, 90% of them were rigid. People were poor. I saw them, their clothes and all the rest. They were not looking good. I say so he was the only one wearing you know, jacket. Others were just wearing shirts and all that. So I, I felt that that was not the right thing. You know, it's not the right thing. He's deceiving people. That was the impression I had. That was what made me to record that. 
So I, in my mind, I was, I was, I was so pissed off. I wanted to go and tell him to stop. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do that, but I did. I didn't want to embarrass him in, in the presence of everybody. So I, I only take what mm -hmm. he was saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then in this recording, he was saying that even if you have no life security and uh, your houses, you can open your houses, and so uh, that the that the Holy Ghost and God can give that security. That's the greatest security. That means there's insecurity in Lagos. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, they are really riding on all the insecurity, unemployment, bad situations in Lagos. People are hopeless, and they want to give them hope. That's what that's for me. And, and to what level is this hopelessness you're talking about? Because of the fact that the roads are very bad. Mm. The electricity situation is very, very bad as well. Mm -hmm. You need to have money to operate a generator mm -hmm. to have constant light in your house. Mm -hmm. And so when you sleep under such situations where there are no lights, no, I mean, no condition, no fans and all the rest, yeah, even to drink cold water is very difficult. And it's very sunny, so uh, it's very very difficult to, to believe in anything. So anybody who comes along to tell you to that if, if, if don't don't trust men, trust God. Spiritual comfort. That's right. That's what people. Okay. Need. Yes. So they, that that's what we, they, they say. Okay, we don't trust anybody again because they've they've you know they they've not uh, fulfilled their dreams or they have fulfilled what they've been saying. So trust in God. You get all other things. And that's it. So people, the smart ones among them, uh, are swimming on that. And that's, for me, very wrong. Very disheartening. I don't like it. But anyway, th this is the only way I could express that. You know? Yeah. yeah.